The UK government's actually released a statement today saying they're 100% backing the decision the EU's made. Keep in mind the UK was part of making that decision. So very much on board with this. The UK's spoken out before about their unhappiness with Donald Trump's uh, tariffs that he'd put on the EU products. Keep in mind Donald Trump's tariffs are worth about 6 billion euro. These new tariffs are only worth about 2.8 billion. So the UK believes, as does the rest of Europe, that this response is measured but it's the right response it's the right level uh, keep in mind I guess as well that going forward for the UK this may be only pain uh, for them for a little bit longer because as you say they could be out of the EU and then it'll be their chance to re renegotiate do their own thing with the US they'll obviously be hoping they can lean on that special relationship so-called special relationship they have with the US and perhaps do a better deal with Donald Trump than the EU has but there's absolutely no indication that that will happen anyway so for the moment they're happy uh, in this statement they referred to to the measures really as what they're calling uh, corrective measures but really what we mean here is this is retaliation this is retaliation measures for what the US has done to the EU and the UK is fully on board with it and Sarah what about UK consumers I mean how much does all of this really matter to them and their purchasing power well when you ask people on the street like we have this morning, most people weren't even aware this was happening, Andrea, and that is often the way. However, when we told them, of course, they were a little upset. Some of them uh, have some favourite brands that are from the US. Now, you've got to remember that we mentioned uh, there that Harley Davidson is going to be impacted, as is probably Levi Jeans. Now, right behind me is one of the Levi Jeans stores here in Regent Street in the UK, one of the busiest shopping streets in the UK. Uh, I've had a quick pop in there. I've had a look at the most popular brand of jean in there I guess you'd say the 501s now they cost about 95 uh, US dollars however when these tariffs take place they're going to cost about 157 so I've got that slightly wrong they cost 126 US dollars they'll go up to 157 uh, dollars 50 so quite significant and that's what I guess consumers are upset about they don't want their favorite brands going up but it's not just steel it's not just Harley Davidson and it's not just clothes it's also food products now this is here a very popular uh, form of orange juice in this country it's called Tropicana it comes from Florida at the moment this is selling for about two pound, uh, two dollars rather so it's going to go up to two dollars fifty and this is where the consumers aren't happy the only good thing for consumers is and the EU has pointed this out all the products that they've chosen to put tariffs on there are alternatives so if you do use a US product and now you're not happy it's gone up by 25% there will be another similar product like it to buy okay